So the market is becoming under some pressure on Tuesday with the Dow Jones Industrial Average falling beneath its 50-day moving average. Now, heading into today, investors were showing signs of complacency. So this technical breakdown, a level that had been holding up the index over the last two months, is coming as quite a surprise to many people. Now, a few ways to measure this. There's a few ways to measure this, but one of the primary ones is looking at Wall Street's fear gauge. This is known as the CBOE Volatility Index, and it measures how much investors are willing to pay for protection on potential losses to the downside. Now, on multiple measures, it had moved to levels that suggest that complacency was quite high. If you look at the price of the contracts, that had gone to the, one of the cheapest levels in the last eight years. If you look at short-term volatility expectations versus medium-term volatility expectations, that had compressed to a level that has been associated with turning points over the last two years. And also, if we look at speculative positions in the futures markets, this is uh, people kind of betting on the direction of the VIX going forward. People had been betting against the VIX, so suggesting that they expected the market to go up at, to an extent that we haven't seen since last May. So all those things combined kind of suggest that there was some complacency in play. That can't be said for the bond market. The bond market has been warning for warning of trouble for the last couple of months. We've seen high yield bond spreads widen out a little bit as high yield corporate bond investors start selling off. And we've also seen U.S. Treasury bond yields compress as people start worrying about perhaps the course of the economy going forward. So there was some complacency in play and I think that's starting to be shattered a little bit today.